Taking a live look tonight there at Eckert Orchard over in Belleville, Illinois. I just drove by, past there yesterday, John. Yeah, it's nice and green and, and uh, starting to dry out because the winds today, Patrick, were quite dry and we're just waiting for some precipitation. This time of year, you have to stay posted on the latest forecast. If it's a beautiful day like today, it's going to be stormy tomorrow as we head through the spring of volatile active months and we have a severe weather threat that's higher than uh, yesterday and we're looking at an enhanced risk across our area. What are the components? Well, the timing 1 to 7 p.m. allows some wiggle room on this because it's just taking shape and getting uh, more intense over the plains and Rockies. Tornado chance 5%, hail chance 15% chance. It looks like more of a damaging wind event. And uh, another concern is that the trees have a full canopy of leaves, so that uh, will make them more like a sail or a kite and more prone to being toppled or branches and limbs coming down. There you see the peak chance is right around the evening rush hour into the evening hours, early evening anyway. So uh, good yard work time today, even though it was a bit breezy. Thursday is downtime, especially in the afternoon as that storm system gets wound up. As far as the solar forecast, with the clouds increasing tomorrow, home energy savings still pretty impressive, 84%. But we get into the surplus side where we're putting energy back into the grid on Friday and about neutral on Saturday. Here's the visible satellite picture, and we had that active severe thunderstorm activity similar to yesterday in eastern Michigan, now pushing into Ontario, Canada, eastern Ohio, western Pennsylvania. And uh, that's part of this powerful front. It has stalled down to the south and high pressure slowing the pace down, continuing to push more moisture into the mid Mississippi River Valley. But here is the system getting organized out over the Rockies, the front range, followed that by some really cool air. Significant snowfall in the ski resorts. They're still open. They're going to hang on as long as they can and extend the season in Colorado. But this push of cold air will have our low temperatures dipping into uh, the 30s on uh, Saturday night. Damaging wind up to 70 miles per hour. Strong winds, with those strong winds, you want to secure any loose items, lawn furniture you may have put out, few power outages expected. Trees have that full canopy of leaves once again, or nearly canopy, so they'll be like a kite and easy to push over. And then thunderstorms during the, their peak at the rush hour. And you can see how the fields are drying out. And in the far distance, even a little hint of the pollen that's in the atmosphere. 76 here, Rolla, 57 in Chicago. So we have that cool air starting to pool. But here it's pleasant, 76 north-northwest winds, a rising barometric pressure. So mostly clear skies tonight. We bounce to 82, well above average, morning low 69. And we're just a little surplus of rain so far for the year. Oak and mulberry. The green ash that's on the hood of your car. And we have a second page where you can see that willow and pine are at m mild levels or moderate levels. Tonight, mostly clear skies. Some spotty rain during the morning hours tomorrow. Those should dry up. It's this main push that will start developing during the afternoon. Roll in 3 to 5 o'clock and continue flaring until the early evening hours, leaving behind surplus rains and a big cool down. How much rain? around a half inch to an inch with more to the north. Not tonight though, mostly clear, a low of 56. Tomorrow, afternoon thunderstorms for the metro area, sooner up to the north and west. That's why their high won't be as impressive as our 80 degrees. And be on the lookout for fast changing weather conditions and severe thunderstorms, but then dry and cool below normal temperatures into the weekend, Patrick.